Well, a healthy Instagram influencer out of Brazil has died suddenly at the age of 33. Just another one we have to report on here. We'll dive in and discuss in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, to walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. So the story here, this uh, very popular uh, fitness influencer, Larissa Borges out of Brazil. Uh, somebody who was, I mean, look, it says it all here. This is a physical education student. Fitness is like one of the most important things in her life. This is what she does. Um, she encourages other people and, you know, diet and exercise. And she would, you know, constantly put pictures out on Instagram, you know, showing her own routines and everything that she does. She built up a following of about 30,000 people on her Instagram. And even days prior to all of this happening, she was posting pictures around, you know, different parts of Brazil. She had gone to different festivals, seemed completely fine, nothing wrong at all. Until all of a sudden on August 20th, she suffered a cardiac arrest that led her to the hospital where she was in a coma. Now, think about this again, 33 years old, healthy, you know, a, a fitness expert here. Cardiac arrest should not be happening to someone like this, ladies and gentlemen. But not only did she suffer one cardiac arrest, but two cardiac arrests. That's right. But after being in the coma for eight days, it was announced that she had sadly died on August 28th. Again, just eight days after the first cardiac arrest had taken place. Now, police there are saying that they're investigating, but let's just be honest here. Can, can, we, can we be real about this, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, you mean to tell me that we can't say that the Vax just might have played a role here in the sudden death of Larissa Borges? I mean, can we say that? I mean, two cardiac arrests for a healthy fitness, you know, you know, influencer like this? No, come on. It, it doesn't make any sense. It, we continue to see this worldwide. It's just, just in the United States. It's worldwide. Athletes, healthy young people dropping cardiac arrest, dying suddenly. But nobody wants to talk about it. They'll talk about investigation. You can investigate everything you want. Call it a medical event. Call it this. Call it that. But look, I'm going to tell you what it really is. Now, is there an outside chance of something else? Sure, I can never say 100% it's the vax, but come on. All the evidence is right there. Very sad. Um, all of her fans have flocked to her social media now uh, to pay their respects, to give their condolences and their prayers for the sudden loss. I hope that at some point we can wake up for this, uh, wake up from this and learn, um, and people will stay as far away from this thing as possible. Um, I'll put more information on this story in the description for you if you'd like to check that out. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. This is part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Uh, Prayer is going out to Larissa's family uh, that God would just be with them all and bring them peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.